世は死んだ大げさかもしれんが世界は救われたんだGuys, it's Ashley here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 anime songs that broke the internet. <laughs> yes, for this list, we're going to be looking at the bangers that originally stemmed from anime, only to go on and dominate the cybersphere. Think we missed out on a key anime track? Let us know in the comments. And as always, if there's an anime list you want to see, go to my Twitter at AshJBo w and let me know. Number 10 Lost in Paradise, Jujutsu Kaisen. Honestly, it would be easier to point out what this anime didn't succeed in upon its debut. From the world building, to the fight scenes, to the unprecedented ovary explosion that is Satoru Gojo, this modern shonen was firing on all cylinders from the get go. It also had one hell of an outro. Chill, suave, and packed with some killer dance moves, Lost in Paradise is the best kind of vibe, providing a little levity among the grim, supernatural brutality the show is famed for. It's pretty much the epitome of smooth, and the internet ate it up. Number 9 Libra Me from Hell, Guren Lagan. Granted, anything from this team has plenty of meme potential already baked into it. Especially when it comes to giant robots helmed by the manliest of men, which is pretty much Guren Lagan's bread and butter. But it's undoubtedly its soundtrack that got fans truly pumped. More commonly recognized by its signature line of Row Row Fight the Power, this blend of opera, rap, and metal was a Frankenstein of awesomeness that welcomed endless parody while still holding itself up proudly as the most unusual of hype anthems. Number 8 Renai Circulation Monogatari Series. This franchise might be considered something of a cult favorite, but there is no getting around the magnitude of this one opening track from Baki Monogatari. It damn well exploded, and not just because of Nadako gliding across the screen with beautifully fluid animation. The sweetness of the vocals and disarmingly poppy nature of the song warranted an endless parade of covers and remixes. If there's one thing that this series is going to be remembered for, it's Araragi brushing his sister's teeth and this Goliath of a song. Number 7 The Rumbling Attack on Titan. As if the final season of this monstrous masterpiece wasn't doing enough with its onslaught of twists, character resolutions, and gruesome fight scenes, it also got itself some of the most hard hitting rock tracks this side of the walls. Everyone enjoyed My War, but The Rumbling is a whole different beast. The unapologetic metal English lyrics and chilling chorus hit their mark so well that not only did it inspire a torrent of covers, but it reached number one on the US Billboard Hard Rock chart. Holy crap! We knew anime was transcendent, but not even we saw that coming. Number six Ultra Instinct Dragon Ball Super. We won't deny that Ultimate Battle is a legendary track. Especially since it was the backing tune of Super's most defining fights. But when it comes to being meme to hell and back, nothing tops the time that Goku traded his gold for the silver, and with it, this all too imposing track. Building and building, this is one of Dragon Ball's most ominous songs, until it swells to become a herald of triumph. Which, given how it plays the moment Goku attains a level that even makes the gods quake, yeah, we'd say it's appropriate. Number 5 Running in the 90s and Deja Vu. Initial D. The one anime where Eurobeat is king. We didn't have it in us to separate these two, on account that they stand as the crux for countless memes continuing to this very day, not to mention have earned hundreds of millions of listens the world over. 
Whether you consider them guilty pleasures or unironic hits deserving of celebration, the sheer joy that fans feel when these songs start blaring as the absurd street racing starts is incomparable. That being said, best not to blare them out while driving, otherwise you might be tempted into some dangerous drifting. Number 4. Il Vento de Oro Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind Jojo Fever exists for a reason, and Giorno Giovanna is just another contributor. While his origin, journey, banter with his fellow gangsters, and overall aesthetics made him an instant standout, the Italian Stallion's secret weapon is his personal theme. With just a few piano notes, you already know it's about to go down. Jojo's music has, and always will be, spectacular but it's exceedingly rare for a character's personal theme to overshadow literally everything else. It's the best kind of requiem. Number 3. Silhouette – Naruto Shippuden The amount of openings this ninja has to his name is criminal, especially when so many of them are legitimately great. Though, if there's one that hit the otaku sweet spot, it's this one. It's not hard to see why either. Naruto and hard-hitting J-Rock are a treat when layered together. And this one just so happens to showcase Madara for the majority of its runtime. As if the ultimate Uchiha would settle for a low-key waste of space like Chitensha. Number 2. Gura no Yumiya – Attack on Titan While the argument can be made that the rumbling is the superior song, Attack on Titan's first opening has had a decade to ferment in the minds of fans. It kicked off the carnage and sorrow of the first season in such a high-octane way, riding the high from when the series went through its explosive debut. You know, back when Eren was committed to saving humanity instead of stomping all over it. Even without the nostalgia goggles, it's a staple of anime's music scene that won't be forgotten anytime soon. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Roundabout – Jojo's Bizarre Adventure – Phantom Blood Yep, this was a song before it was on Jojo, but you want to talk about a piece of music that leapt straight from the anime into the public zeitgeist? Nothing compares to this closer. It's not so much the full track as it is just a few of its opening notes. The song was used to bring about the now iconic to be continued screen that propped up at the ending of each episode during the franchise's first entry. Given its simplicity and catchiness, the whole thing caught on like wildfire, to the extent that even Family Guy used it. Does that make Brian and Stewie Jojo references? Hey, you want to end the show with a to be continued meme? I, I don't even know what that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.